Welcome to the Creating a New Site tutorial. This is Chaz and Ashley with the VGS Dev Team. This tutorial will walk you through how to create a new location or site. Once you've established your database hierarchy, you'll want to create sites. Sites are where all of the sampling data is stored and organized. Don't forget to think about your naming convention as you begin naming your sites. Be specific and try to include in the name any pertinent details such as allotment, pasture, or area information. Each site window will have four tabs, general, description, portfolio, and log tab. Let's see how it's done. In edit schema mode, click on the subfolder you want the location to be under. Then click new location. Give the site a detailed name, then save all schema edits. To open the site, right click and select open or double click on the site. There are four tabs in the site window, including general, description, portfolio, and log. The general tab opens by default and includes site type, site status, date established, and notes. By default, the date established will be the current date. If you are entering legacy data, Make sure to change the date established to the actual date by clicking the drop down or manually typing it in. The notes section is for providing a description of site specific notes such as soil information, transect layout, directions, or any information not related to a specific date or event. The description tab is where you input the slope, aspect, and elevation for each site. It also provides a locators manager where you can add, edit, and delete GPS locations. To add a new location, select New, and a new locator will be added. Then select the locator type and add any note specific to that locator. To add coordinates, select the red pin to bring up the GPS module. If your device has a built-in GPS or an external GPS, the module can find and connect to it. If you are connected to a GPS, select Acquire Position to update the locator. You can also manually enter coordinates. Coordinates can be entered as degrees, minutes, seconds, decimal degrees, or UTM. The portfolio stores files, documents, and repeat photography with a date and description. By selecting the View button, documents and photography can be zoomed in and out and viewed side by side. To add a new document, click New Portfolio and browse to the location of the file. The files can then be stored on the device as a reference to their current location or copied to the Portfolio folder, which is located in the VGS Data folder and the Program Data folder on your C drive. The location of all files in the Portfolio can be found by selecting the Details button. Because the Portfolio documents are not stored within the database itself, they will not come across in a restore or backup. The log tab is where data input events are stored. For more information about events, please see the Creating a New Event tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you have learned something new and helpful. Until next time.